Welcome to this short video showing how to configure the Ports Down Transmitter software for the very first time. These instructions can also be found on the BATC wiki in the Ports Down user manual under initial setup. First, you will need a Raspberry Pi 3 and an SD card with the Ports Down firmware already installed. These can either be bought from the BATC shop or you can do it yourself by following the instructions in the software section of the user guide. We also recommend that you have a WaveShare 3.5 inch touchscreen connected, but you don't have to to get the system running initially. However, before you can use the Ports Down system, it must be initially configured. And to do this, you need a separate PC running two pieces of software. The first software is called Advanced IP Scanner and this is used to find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi when it first boots up. And then you will need an SSH terminal application such as PuTTY to edit the setup menu. Download links for both of these programs are available on the BATC wiki. So here we go. Connect your touch screen and any other peripherals such as a Pi camera or audio dongle but do not connect a monitor or keyboard to the Raspberry Pi. So it should look something like this. Note I've only got two wires connected, power supply and network. The other wire you can see is a pickup to test the receiver later on. Using the network lead and not Wi-Fi at this stage Connect the Raspberry Pi to the same network as your PC. Install the SD card and turn the Raspberry Pi on. You'll note the screen becomes light. And then after a few seconds, we'll go dark. You see. And having given the Pi 30 seconds to boot up, we then run the advanced IP scanner program. Open the program and press the green button marked scan. It is now scanning the network and you'll see all of the devices which are connected to your network coming up. And you should then find one for the Raspberry Pi or the Raspberry Pi Foundation. As soon as that comes up, you can press stop. And what we do is we note down that number is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. So write that down and then close the advanced IP scanner. Next, we open up the second program called PuTTY, which is a SSH terminal program. And once that's open, in the window for hostname, type the IP address of the Raspberry Pi that we just found. And then press open. And what you will see for the first time is it comes up with a putty security alert. And that's fine. You can just press yes on that. At the login prompt, enter the default username of Pi and password Raspberry. Note that as you type the password, it does not appear on the screen. And so now you should see the following screen on the PC, which is the ports down console menu. And at the same time, on your Raspberry Pi, a BATC logo should have appeared on the touch screen. So you have now successfully logged into the ports down software. And if you have a mini tuner with either a SUP2400 up converter or Serit tuner to cover 437 megahertz you can test the basic system using direct RF or ugly mode 
Note that you do not need a filter modulator board to run this test and the system comes ready configured. So simply press return and the console menu will show you that you are transmitting. If you now open up mini tuner and go to 437 megahertz, 333 killer symbols and 7 over 8 FEC, you should see a signal in the constellation display and a picture of the Raspberry Pi desktop in the display window. And if you do, congratulations, you've just made your first DAV TV transmission from your ports down. To stop transmitting, simply press return and you on the on the PC keyboard and you will see the ports down menu again. If you have bought or built the filter modulator board, we need to set the system up to use that as the output rather than ugly mode. So using the keyboard, the PC keyboard cursor keys, toggle down to item number two, output and press return. That will take us to the output parameters menu and use the keyboard cursor key to toggle down to item number three, which is output mode and press return. The item we now need is actually the first item, I and Q. You will notice that the star currently is in QPSK RF. So with the red highlighter against I and Q, just press the PC keyboard spacebar. Now press the tab key on the PC keyboard to go down to OK and hit return. Now it will ask you a couple of questions about what pins to use on the board. These are already set to the defaults for the ports down. So don't change anything. Simply use tab to highlight OK. And on the second time, do exactly the same. So tab across to OK and press return. You will have now returned to the main menu. The next thing we need to do is to set the ports down up so it no longer needs the PC to be attached and will automatically boot into the touch screen. So using the cursor keys, we toggle down to system setup and press return on the PC keyboard. We then select the first menu, which is item one called auto start. And again, press return. And now you will see a number of choices. And we need to toggle down using the PC keyboard cursor key to display boot, which is boot up to touch screen display. Once the red highlight is in that position, press the space bar to select it and then press tab on the PC keyboard to highlight OK. And now press return. So now we need to do a system reboot and the system will now come back up on the touch screen. So toggle down using the cursor keys down to item eight, press return and go to item number two, which is immediate reboot. And when we close, when we hit return, it will come up with a message to say it has closed the network connection. So we'll now hit return. Don't worry about that. And if you look at your PC, your uh, Raspberry Pi, You'll see the screen has gone dark. And after a few moments where it's looking actually for the network, it will come up with the ports down touch screen menu. So the system is now configured for touch screen use. 
there is a number of other men, uh, options that you need to set but we will look at them in the next video